Mosquito-borne diseases are a growing concern here in Massachusetts. Our region seeing moderate levels of West Nile virus in the central part of the state on high alert for Tripoli. Twenty Two News reporter Nicole Buddy joins us live in studio with how you can protect yourself. Well, Christina, you can enjoy being outdoors while preventing bites from possibly infected mosquitoes. Each year, the West Nile virus infects between 1,000 to 10,000 people in the United States. The mosquitoes that carry West Nile virus are going to, you know, continue to persist and they won't entirely die off until we've had a hard frost. The West Nile virus spreads when bit by an infected mosquito and in New England, cases start to appear May through September. Take my daily walk in the park every day, so, but I'm cautious, so put on, you know, bug spray, whatever. Being outdoors is a summer favorite and also the home to many mosquitoes. There's a lot of trees here, so a lot of mosquitoes are here. But some aren't bothered. The bugs haven't been biting me, so that's good. Though the risk of getting bit by an infected mosquito is now at the moderate level, state health officials announcing on Friday. This year alone, a total of 262 West Nile virus positive mosquito samples have been detected across the state. And on Saturday, Dr. Anthony Fauci hospitalized with West Nile virus and is now recovering at home. Expected to make a full recovery, there are still precautions you can take. Use insect repellent, wear long sleeves shirts and pants, empty and clean areas that may collect water like bird baths and clogged rain gutters where mosquitoes tend to breed. Keep doors and windows screened or closed to keep them from entering your home. Health officials say symptoms of West Nile virus include a fever, headache, sore throat, and if you don't feel good around this time of the year, it's always good to check in with your local doctor. Working for you, Nicole Buddy, 22 News.